Heavy. Extremely. Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. Hey, Emmett, I've got an idea. What? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. Okay, Emmett. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey! What? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. Edna kill me if I forgot that. She might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. But for now, I better concentrate on making Emmett a slob who cheats on his girlfriend. Hey, Emmett, I've got a... Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Y your suit's ruined. Edna's gonna be royally PO'd. Wrong! What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote, so I spent a few hours whipping up this. Whoa! W what was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Damn it, you'll make a fortune! Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw-shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. That cleanser doesn't seem very portable. It isn't, but this is. A perfume bottle? Yes. Th no. I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all-purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth-destroying enzymes. Clever. What the hell is that? What? Sorry, I, I thought I saw a tarantula. <laughs> what? I was just thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short, sometimes brutally so. So why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I'm not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want. Emmett, no! I'm gonna ask Edna to marry me! Right now! No! Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo. It'll be much more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community! And I owe it all to you! You're welcome. Hey, Emmett, I've gotta go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine.
Press button to experience Hill Valley's primeval past. Okay, if this dinosaur is called a Tannenosaurus, I'm gonna... Oh, <laughs> whew. Times may be hard in Hill Valley, but our present worries fade into insignificance when we ponder our Pleistocene past. Is the wolf knocking at your door? Be glad he's not a Tyrannosaurus, king of the ancient lizards. And if you find yourself drowning in debt, well, you could be drowning in something a whole lot stickier, like the Hill Valley Tar Pits. This peek into the distant past is brought to you by Lamont's House of Urban, reminding you, fur is forever. It's a good thing I did this before Emmett's 12 hour time limit, where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? Hey, pal. Oh, jeez. This guy again. Funny, I was gonna say the same thing. Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Cause Little Miss Goody Two Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Electro this, Robo that, Dynamo the other, it's all Greek to me. What? How the heck? Have you heard from Kid lately? We're not exactly on speaking terms these days, on account of our varying degrees of incarceration. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. Really? Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just... Well, it just cheeses me off, you know? Shouldn't you be in jail with the rest of Kid's gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. So what's so, uh, toe-curling about Trixie's past? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on! No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? Last year, I drove a train off a cliff. Why'd you do that? You know, now that I think about it, I'm not really sure. It's a <laughs> long story. All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as this. Is that Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. No kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. Well, okay. Hey, what's with your teeth? My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? There's nothing. Nothing! I... I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. How was I to know they turned my teeth green? Well, the algae part might have been a clue. Please don't wrap me out the audio, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. Hang loose, pal. You talk funny, mister. How about an algae cake? Guess I am feeling a bit peckish. <laughs> Where the hell did you get that crap? The expo.
You might want to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, what have we here? Oh, sir! Mr. McFly! It appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? What is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill Valley... I don't Valley, need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once... The winsome wench of Winnipeg. Her past doesn't matter to... Trixie? What is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You're firing me? I don't want to. Here. Yeah. Take it back! Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. Let's talk. Trixie? I'll do it! I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out! That's great! I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows but we up- we gotta do it my way. Huh? I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't gonna memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Paula Maid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Okay. Only, I need a few props. Why am I not surprised? Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. And something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly. Hi, Trix. Oh, hiya, kiddo. Say, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Well, it would be fun to watch, but I wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? The fur? Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. Good. I mentioned to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. Agricultural advances will make it a breeze to feed our birthday well, population. Hill Valley, tired of waiting for the right to run so that you can find everything you need to transform your dreams into reality. Let's go! How hard work! How hard work! Using our fair cities since 1895. Just borrowing it. Hi, Trix. Oh, hiya, kiddo. Smacking the... Well, it... Uh, you got all... Not all of them. Good. Hey, Trixie. Are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but, uh, they'll work. How about the diamond in the photo album? I'll get him to you. 